So on this program, we've talked about a number of Republicans who have been exposed for a plethora of reasons, ranging from grooming children to endangering and nearly suffocating children to giving alcohol to minors and indecent exposure, you name it. And in covering all of these stories, I've noticed a bit of a trend. The more anti-LGBTQ plus the Republican in question is, the more bizarre their scandal turns out to be usually. It's almost like their fixation on queer people is a tacit confession of some sort of skeletons in their own closets. But I promise you, you are not going to be able to guess why this particular Republican got into trouble. I'm talking about Joseph Viso Jr., who is running for New Jersey State Assembly. He is a vaccine skeptical MAGA Republican who often complains about illegal immigration and thinks that Democrats are communists. But one of the most important issues to him is seemingly parental rights. And that's because of his anti-LGBTQ plus disposition. And on his mailer, it's the number one issue that he lists, parental rights and education. And I think that we all know what that means. He also mentions family values later on. And on Facebook, he claimed that LGBTQ plus people are coming for your children in response to an article alleging that a nonprofit was sneaking, quote, gender lessons into schools, whatever that means. And he also shared a post on Facebook signaling his support for the outing of trans kids to their parents likely not understanding that that could result in child abuse if the parents aren't affirming. So now that you know a bit about him, just try to take a wild guess as to what sort of dirt just came up about him recently. Just think of the craziest thing that you can imagine and then multiply that by 10. You ready? He literally smeared shit on the doors, locks, and doorknobs of a daycare. And somehow, that is not even the most shocking part about this story, because that award goes to the excuse that he used for said behavior. This is a wild one, so buckle up. HuffPost reports, Viso had a dispute with the daycare center, which was next to his business, and he told The Globe that daycare employees harassed my men every day. They had cars ticketed every time my men parked on a side street. At some point, he said, he decided to get even by smearing poop on the handles and locks of the child care facility. After the investigating officer told Viso there was video evidence of his poop smearing, he apologized and said, I'm not proud of what I did. He told The Globe that he later cleaned up the dookie stained doors. It was done before anyone got hurt, he said. I'm not going to defend it, but wait for it here. I was a young man. It was a horrible time, and I made a mistake, Viso52 said. Obama came into office the year before. <laughs> no, he is not blaming Obama. That would make Viso about 39 at the time, an age when most people have learned not to smear poop. <laughs> oh... He smeared shit on the doors of a building where children go to, and he blamed Obama. You know, just when I thought that I've seen everything, a new GOP candidate comes along and just blows my mind. His excuse was he was in a dispute with his neighbor. Uh, he was also distraught over Obama's victory. So, you know, why not get even and uh, smear shit all over the doors of this daycare, again, where kids go to? Now, he says that the uh, reason why this dispute took place was because this daycare, which was next to his electrical business that he owned, uh, was getting his employees ticketed, calling the police on them. But I mean, the question is, why would that owner of the daycare do that? Was there a valid reason? Were you know, they parking illegally there? Were they trespassing on top of that? There was allegations that the daycare claims that you know his employees were blasting loud music that was inappropriate right next to a daycare. So I think that I need more context to determine why this dispute even took place because knowing what I know about him, I just have to automatically assume that he was in the wrong. And on top of that, the fact that he couldn't settle this amicably and resorted to shit smearing says so much about the way that he'd behave as a lawmaker. Like I said, the most anti-LGBTQ plus politicians are usually the ones with the most bizarre scandals. But that's not all, because LGBTQ Nation adds, in 2016, Viso pleaded guilty in federal court to one count of conspiracy to distribute methylone. Police charged him with possessing 5,000 grams of it, enough to make 5 million ecstasy tablets, synthetic and pathogenic street drugs. He said he sold the drugs to help pay for his cancer treatments at the time. In 2014, 
Visa was charged with illegally possessing a sawed-off shotgun near a school and sentenced to two years probation for it. He said he pleaded guilty because he couldn't afford a lawyer. In 2013, he was charged with possession of heroin and smoking materials. He pleaded guilty to possession with intent to use drug paraphernalia. Wow. Now, the article brings up lawsuits for non-payment of bills, along with the fact that he owed over 200 creditors, more than $3 million combined. But I don't think that being poor is a crime, so I don't find that scandalous. But I do find his excuse for distributing meth alone genuinely heartbreaking. That is, if he's telling the truth, which I have my doubts about. But just for a moment, let's be extra charitable to him and assume that he is being honest there. He says he sold drugs to pay for cancer treatments. Listen, as a leftist, I think that healthcare should be free at the point of service to everyone, including Republicans who smear shit on doors. And in theory, you think that an experience like that would shape his worldview, except it seemingly hasn't. So I recalled seeing a mention of healthcare on his mailer. But when you read the details, or what you can make out at least, since the image quality is shittier than the fecal matter that he smeared on doorknobs, you can see that this isn't about healthcare. It's a reference to his anti-vax sentiment, which reads, protect individual right to bodily autonomy, ensure safety and transparency in medical recommendations and the metrics used to suggest them. Now, to be clear, he is not talking about reproductive healthcare when he references bodily autonomy. Autonomy. He's referring to the vaccine mandates that were temporarily enforced during the height of the pandemic. And I just find this so bizarre, so weird. I mean, he's had life experiences that allow him to relate to working Americans, aside from the shit smearing, of course. I mean, the poverty, him having to sell drugs to pay for cancer treatments, assuming he's telling the truth. That's a Breaking Bad-esque story. So, even if you're lying, just the fact that you lied about that tells you that you know that healthcare is an issue. Why not link that to medical debt? He also filed bankruptcy before. The number one cause of bankruptcy is medical debt. Like there has to be some sort of mechanism in your brain that gets you to think deeper about these issues because you want to be a politician, right? He was also busted for possessing heroin. Why not advocate for drug decriminalization or even gasp legalization? Because he doesn't want to do that. Instead, he's on Twitter sharing memes comparing Joe Biden to Hitler, denying global warming, promoting ivermectin as a treatment for COVID, and doing January 6th apologia, just to name a few things that he's posted about. This is why Republicans fucking suck, because even when they have experience that should theoretically help them appeal more to working Americans, assuming that he's telling the truth, again, they waste their time on dumb bullshit like that. Although, to be fair to him, shit is something that he knows a thing or two about, so it's pretty appropriate. But I mean, it's just, it's so ridiculous. It, it shows why this party cannot be taken seriously, because they are incapable of talking about substantive issues that actually need to be addressed. But I'll admit, now that a uh, Republican candidate has literally smeared shit on the doorknobs of a daycare center and blamed Obama for it, it's going to take a lot more for the next scandal to impress me. Like, we're going to have to see a blippy level scandal. Don't Google that, by the way, but we're going to have to see something like that if I'm going to be shocked by it. But I mean, yeah, another family values Republican who wants to protect children from LGBTQ plus people got caught doing something outrageous. He smeared his shit on a building, literally. And what's interesting about this story is that I'm not even a little bit surprised. Like, it's shocking. The details are certainly shocking, but... This is something that I think is absolutely within the realm of possibility when we're talking about GOP politicians. So I'm not surprised and I doubt that you were either. Excuse me. Vagina. Ha, 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 